Hello, and welcome to this 13th video on using Blender for video editing. In this session, we will talk about fade-ins and fade-outs. It uses uh, transitions, um, the gamma cross transition that we talked about in the 11th video, and adding on just one new thing, the color effect strip. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now I've got a single uh, video movie strip inside of my sequencer. And what we're going to do is we are going to make it fade in from, from black. So to start, I'm just going to jump back to the first frame. And I will add, under effect strip, the color which uh, shows up right there and uh, whenever you add a color strip it defaults to black which is what we want so that's great and let me zoom in a little bit using the mouse wheel and then shift this over using the uh, middle mouse and I'm going to ex click on that and extend it out a little bit okay and now what we're going to do is I'm going to position this one so I'm going to press G and then move it. So maybe move over like that. So now we've got about, actually let's make it a two second thing. So two seconds over to here. So one second of black and then it'll start fading in for one second. To do uh, the transition, it's uh, the gamma cross transition. So from before there's a few steps. Step one is to position it, we did. Step two is to select the strips in, that, in the sequence that we want. So first the, the color strip and then holding onto shift key, uh, right click on the, the video, the movie strip that we want to fade into. And then we add that transition. So add effect strip and gamma cross. Right? And there it is. And right now I'll just go ahead and set a preview range so I can see how that looks and hit the play button. And there we go. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. So just like that, uh, fade in. So fade out is, actually no, before we go to fade out, let's talk about the color strip. Because typically fade in is from, from black, but if for whatever reason you want it to go from a different color, all you have to do is change the color strip. So let me go over here, right click on the color strip. And when you scroll down along with the properties, you can see right under there, under effect strip color, you just have to left click on that. And you have to raise this up so you can actually see the different colors. You have options, uh, what your options are. And let's say we wanted to go from yellow, yellowish. Let's go in like that kind of yellow, right? Oh, and you'll notice um, uh, as soon as you move your mouse away from this, then that, that interface just disappears. So there you go, um, still a fade in, but strange one okay um, and then now that we've done that let's talk about fade out which is actually the same thing as fade in except instead of going from the color to the movie strip you go from movie strip to color so I will stop that and let's get out of this preview and then we'll move over to the end right over about here I will go to add another color and this time we'll just keep it as black. I'll zoom in over, and position this over to here and shrink this one down like that. Oh, here we go, left click to finish that. Uh, set my preview range to this. All right. So let's take a look right now without having done anything. So of course it will just be the cut. And then now to actually add the, the transition. So left click, no, sorry, not left click, right click on the first strip, hold shift, then right click to select the second strip, go to add, effect strip, gamma cross. And there we go, fade to black. Uh, so that's it. Um, fade in, fade out using the uh, gamma cross transition that we've learned about already. Um, and that's all there is to it. So that's it for now, and I'll see you next time.